And welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold! In the last episode, we went through that annoying route on the way to the Victory Road. In this episode, we're gonna go through Victory Road. First thing we're gonna do is pop a repel because there are a lot of Gravelers here, and Dawn fans, and Onyxes, and Golbats. Nothing we really wanna fight. A uh, Dawn fan is not bad, but not my favorite. And I already fucked up the first strength puzzle of the game! How great of me. I did a fucking fantastic job. There we are. You're supposed to push that boulder up. There we go. Anyway, uh, unlike... Uh, unlike red, blue, yellow, there are no trainers here, just a bunch of strength puzzles and items to find. So, it's actually not that tough, unless the remakes made it a little tougher, which really they should have, because this was way too easy. A potion. I don't think anyone going through here is going to want a single potion. I'm trying to look down there. It looks like there's something to push for strength there. Nope. Just a dead end. I do love the music though. Full heal, nice. If I remember rightly, uh, one of Tauros's future TMs is here. Okay. Yeah, stupid repel. I'm gonna actually see about putting it on the select button if I can. Hang on, I need to move the window a little bit. No, I cannot. Oops, and let me move... There we are. Sorry, I had to move the windows around because of uh, the way I'm recording. They sort of go cut off for me, so... They're still going to be in the recording, as it's the same recording setup I've been using this entire time, so... I think I just took the long way. Oh well, Max Revive. Totally worth it. Now I have two of those. Those are going to be very useful. I'm saving those for Lance. The damn murdering tyrant. Anyway, continue onward. Yeah, Victory Road is actually exceptionally easy. Because there's really not a lot going on in here. I mean, there are probably hidden items that I could find with the item finder, because it seems like that would make sense, but... It's just that some of the items require a little extra effort to get to. Like this one. I don't remember what item I'm about to get by going through this hole, but... we That actually is nothing. Ah, uh, now I have to use strength all over again, god damn it. Uh, I really wish my cat would stop meowing his head off. He's upset because everybody has left the house except for me, and I don't give him enough attention. To be fair, I'm definitely a dog person, not a cat person. What do you have to say about that? Staring straight into my eyes. Guess Tauros might be a cat person. Certainly hope not. Cats are not as good as dogs. I think this one just leads straight back. <laughs> yeah, it does. Am I missing something here? Because it seems like... Oh, I think I should I think I think should be able to go right on top. Just like this. Yep. Okay. And then there's a bunch of places here you can use Rock Smash on. I'm pretty sure you can only find Geodudes under them. On, or Gravelers, maybe. It doesn't make sense for a Graveler to be underneath a rock. And there's a couple of drop points here, and I can't remember which one is the one to use. Let's check this one. Aha! What do we got here? HP up. Awesome. Ah, uh, with my luck, I'm getting into a wild battle before I can get to that ladder. I don't have very good luck. We. Alright. Should be an item. Yep, right over here. Up that way is actually the end of Victory Road. I'm not going there yet. Thank you, Gyarados. Nothing's under that one. And speeding up function on the emulator, thank you very much. Because that would have been very annoying to just sit there and watch. And TM79 is Dark Pulse. Powerful dark type attack, special attack. I can't remember the exact specs, I think it's 80 power. 100 power accuracy, 15 power points. I passed it somehow. There it is. Yep, I was right. Let's see if anyone can learn it. I don't think this is part of my strategy. Gyarados can learn it, don't care, and so can Weezing, but his special attack is utter shit, so not gonna do that. 
Anyway, continue this way. We have a hole to fall into. Yay! Yay! Anyway, I'm um, pretty sure we can go up that way to get something, but... Yes! Earthquake! That's exactly what I wanted. And uh, that one's going to be Tauros, I believe. Yes, it is. No, go back. Go back. There we are. And boom. Tauros wants to learn. Can't learn more than a certain amount of moves. Hang on. One second. Okay, don't care about that. Yes, a move should be replaced. Which one? Unfortunately, each one of those is part of his move set, so I have to wait until I am out of here and don't need strength anymore. Damn it, I meant to exit. Stop trying to learn, yes. Okay. Yeah, I gotta wait till I gotta wait until I'm out of here before I teach him that, because I'm going to be replacing strength with it. Do 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 Oh no. Ah! Hold it! I am definitely going to challenge Lee for Victor Road is at its end for sure. Did you notice? You didn't see any real trainers on the way, did you? Man, they were all spineless. Well, the fact that you've come this far means you're not one of them, but your journey ends here because right here, right now, I will crush you. Not likely. My ambition is too strong for me to be crushed by the likes of you. Rival Battle Murtag, this is the last one in Kanto. He starts out with his Sneasel. Which is brand new and by god hacks unless he sneaked into Mount Silver because that's the only place you can get Sneasel in this game. Ice Dark type very fast with decent attack. I'm gonna Iron Tail the crap out of him. Faint attack never misses by the way unless you use Dig or Fly. It's sort of like, you know, Swift and Aerial Ace. Luckily for me, Sneasel's defense is crap. Awesome. He's sending out for Alligator next. Let's see what level he's at. Anyway, his for Alligator at this point will hit obviously be his strongest Pokemon, and it will always be. Level 40. Thank you, Quick Claw, because for Alligator is probably faster than me. For Alligator, as I stated in the beginning when he chose Cro um, Totopile, has high attack, high defense, and decent health. Low special attack. Medium special defense, I'd say. But luckily, still one Thunderbolt destroys him. Next, he will probably be sending out... You idiot! Sure, go ahead, send out the one that's weakest to electric types on your team. You really should have gone with Confuse Ray, would have given you a chance. And now you're paralyzed, so now you're utterly screwed. See, even if you had banked on flinching... The, paral the paralysis ruins you. As a matter of fact, I think static is the only ability this guy can have. So, anyway, that was easy. Give him my experience. Next, his Haunter, obviously. Let's see. Let's go with Doros again. His best attacks won't affect me. I think at this point it's going to have Nightshade, Sucker Punch, a couple other things, I don't know. Either way, not enough to scare me. Plus, I'm faster anyway, and this should kill in one shot because they have crappy defense. And boom, that was ridiculously easy. And not quite a level yet, but his next one is Kadabra. Do I have anything good against Kadabra? Yes, I do. Because Kadabra is really annoying, unless you have something to combat it with, something fast or something tough. And I could just use U-Turn, but I feel like getting experience for this, so... Get out of here, Fly. Don't want you here. Well, his last Pokemon that he's going to send out actually does not have good, you know, special defense. Which is the uh, attack we'll be using it, so we'll be using a special attack, so Reflect is worthless to you. Magneton is his last Pokemon. Obviously electric steel type, good defense, piss poor health. Good special attack, won't matter because he's slow and honestly won't last long enough to matter. Seems it wasn't just luck that's gotten you this far, damn right. It's experience and knowing your team back to front. 
Boom. Easy. Done. Dead. Where's my fucking money? You gonna give me my money? Where's my money? I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. Beginning to understand what the dragon tamer said to me. Don't listen to that murdering tyrant. Just get stronger. I haven't given up becoming the greatest trainer. I'm gonna find out why I can't win to become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. I'll beat you down with all of my power. <laughs> you keep it up until then. Holy crap, he didn't kick me. Guys, he didn't kick me. I think he's maturing. And without further ado, welcome to Indigo Plateau. Repel's effect wore off. Not that I care. I'm where I need to be. What do you have to say for yourself? The Pokemon League will get you tested by the Elite Four. You have to beat them all. If you lose, you start all over. What's odd is I think they got rid of the guy that automatically sends you home. Oh, no. There he is. Come on. Some trainers suddenly feel discouraged and leave. My Abra can take you home, but trainers just fly home lately. I feel left out. I'm sure my Abra feels the same way. Apparently, he won't teleport you simply because he feels left out. I would like to teleport. I don't want to go into my PC and get my Fly Slave. Let me heal up quickly. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. I could just put all the Elite Four in one marathon video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them each in their own video. Which may suck, but that's how I'm, I'm going to structure it for all my Pokemon videos. All the Elite Four get their own special video. I will buy stuff off screen. I will let you know what I bought. This is a Pokemon Center in every sense of the word. This guy will tell you, oh yeah, you need the badges. Even though the gatekeeper asked me for the badges. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now. Okay, he won't send me home, so, uh... Yeah, I'm going to be training off-screen. I'm going to get Tauros to 40... 42, sorry about that, my throat got caught. Uh, Weezing to 40. Scyther to 42. Vaporeon to 42. And I'm going to get Typhlosion and Ampharos up to level 45. So I will have that team, that same team, when I come back. And I will also off-screen erase strength from Tauros and give him Earthquake. So without further ado, this has been Bishop Butter signing off. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to me. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the video.